Welcome in this short session you might learn something about the uh, tuning of uh, time scale DB using the time scale uh, tuning tool. So uh, we are not going through all the steps. So to go through all the steps you you might go through the lesson and you may find all the steps wherein you can install uh, Postgre on Ubuntu 20.04. So you would be installing uh, Postgre 15. And you will be using Ubuntu 20.04. You might uh, be using either Putty or you may use the mobile XTROM the way I have been using. Those who are uh, subscribed this, to this course, they might uh, find it uh, uh, just a very easy way. You can just copy paste the command and you can follow through uh, this. And uh, this one is it's already available. The, uh, uh, the video is already available wherein you can just go through all the steps wherein um, the uh, system will be available as you go through it and then we will come to a point wherein you can start tuning the uh, postgresql.com for different parameters so uh, it is just a kind of a starting point for the configuration of postgresql.com file so let's see what where we are as of now this is not the full uh, detailed uh, version of the the, uh, the tutorial so it is just like i'll just go through an overview we just check the location of the configuration file and we are not just showing like how to get the tool time time scale tune db tool so we'll just go ahead and run this tool which is used for uh, tuning the postgresql.com file is this correct so uh, this configuration file is the same one so if it is different just you have to make sure and uh, the prerequisite is the shared preload, uh, preload underscore library it should be uh, set to time scale uh, db so that's been already set at, as part of this lesson the details are already over there you can just go through this and just say yes and it will show you the different parameters. So this particular EC2 instance, which we had launched, uh, we have allocated 4 GB of RAM and two virtual CPUs. So based on that, it is just asking us to give 25% of uh, the memory to the uh, shared buffer and effective cache size, which is 75%. And uh, the default uh, uh, ma uh, maintenance work memory is 64 MB and it's been asked us to increase it to 500 MB and work memory which is default to uh, 4 MB it's been asked us to increase it to uh, 200 MB. So in case you feel this is the required configuration which can help you and uh, yes it is a starting point for the configuration you may increase and decrease based on, on your understanding about the environment. Just say yes and along with this it can suggest you several other parameters and it is up to you whether you wanted to go with those parameters or not and again this is a kind of a starting point so based on these parameters you can see uh, something which is uh, applicable for you in this case we have two virtual cpus so based on the two virtual cpus it has asked us to to make changes to some of the uh, background workers, which is your max uh, uh, worker process, max parallel workers per gather, and max parallel uh, workers. So let's say if you wanted to accept, just say yes. And also it is uh, asking us to check the recommendations for wall settings. So if you think these are the settings which can help in configuration, you can go ahead. Let's say we just say yes and uh, background writer settings we do not have any just say yes and these are the different other parameters which is like default statistics target is equal to 100 and it is asking us to increase it to 500 and uh, random page cost which is 4 it is asking us to downgrade it to 1.1 the max connection is 100 it is uh, suggesting us to decrease it more the connections that means you are going to to take more resources it is just 4 uh, gb of ram so it is asking us to decrease the value if you think all of them are okay just say yes just for the way this tool works just say yes and it is going to give all the changes are saved to this but just to see how other 
uh, options are available i'm just going to restore the old postgresql.con file so so when this time scale uh, db and hyphen tune works it is just going to create a previous version of your uh, con uh, configuration file or it is just going to take a back backup before it is doing anything so i have done it several times earlier so i'm just saying uh, restore it from the previous one so i have restored it so it is like uh, my original one so let's see if i wanted to just uh, make a profile which is called as from skill so uh, this is the default location and this is the correct location of postgresql.conf and we have the shared preload library already set uh, I'm again mentioning all these steps are already mentioned wherein you can just follow it a step. So just uh, go through this lesson. All the steps are there and you can follow through it. Tune memory, yes. And it is showing us uh, this 4 GB of RAM. Uh, you can almost give 2 GB to the uh, shared buffer effective cache size, which is 75% and maintenance uh, work memory, it is 500 MB and work memory, it is 100 MB can be allocated. Just say yes. And then according to the uh, several uh, CPUs, which we have, so parallelism setting recommendations are these. Uh, this is not mandatory, but these are recommendations. And most of the time, these recommended uh, settings work fine. In case if, if, if you feel that these are hogging your resources, you may uh, downgrade it. But it is it is a good starting point for the configuration of PostgreSQL.com file if you are using the time scale DB. And there are several other parameters for the wall setting configuration. You have the minimum wall size, which is given for the, for this particular. So uh, it is asking us to increase the minimum wall size from 2 GB to 4 GB. This may work for your environment or not, so it, just you have to uh, take some kind of uh, assumption in your environment. And let's say we save everything. Is this okay? So it is asking us some uh, different parameters. If you find this is okay, just say yes. And uh, configurational uh, changes of PostgreSQL.com uh, file if you do not have a tool to uh, tune it it is always always uh, difficult or or you have to use some permutation and combination whether this particular cpu and memory uh, what kind of resources or configuration shall i increase or decrease just say yes and uh, i'm going to restore the original file and let's see how is the recommendation if we have 4 GB of RAM and two virtual CPUs, just say yes. Yes. And it is again showing what are the different parameters. So for 4 GB of RAM, you should have 1 GB of shared buffer, which is an important configurational parameter. Effective cache size 75 uh, uh, percent of the total physical RAM, which you have uh, the maintenance work memory, it is 512 MB and work memory is uh, almost 100 MB. Is this okay? We'll just say yes. And these are the different other parameters. Just this is this is keep on repeating uh, the kind of options we have. Just say yes. So you can see different parameters and they have been saved. In case you do not want it to uh, go with them, you can just go with the dry run. We are not going to go through all of them. Let's go to directly uh, the recommendation part. So the dry run. So what we are saying using this tool, uh, we are just going to go for a dry run and um, we are just saying yes, uh, accept all the recommendation and see how it works. Let's see. We used earlier also so you can see over here shared buffer effective cache size maintenance work memory work memory so using this tool and uh, tuning your postgresql.com or parameter file when you have this time scale db extension available and uh, 
and uh, ready for use in that case you can see these are the different uh, important parameters these are not all so these are the important parameters which can be tuned so this uh, these are just the dry run and these are the recommended values and it is strongly recommended based on your workload and kind of the load you have on in your environment you can use this i hope a basic description of this tool and the tuning might help you hope this is going to help and thank you